The spring of 2024 promises to stir the United States with an unusual melody. A curious phenomenon is set to repeat itself after more than 200 years. Starting in May, billions of cicadas are expected to emerge from the ground in a rare and synchronized episode. The last time this happened was in 1803. The unique event is being heralded as the Cicada Apocalypse. What does this mean? Why is this happening now? Are there any dangers or precautions that should be taken? Earth echoes penetrate the soil to explain the cycle of these fascinating nature singers. This spectacle will resonate in a captivating open-air concert, fueled by music and movement. For the first time since the 19th century, two major broods of cicadas are poised to emerge simultaneously in the United States. It is estimated that billions, even trillions of these insects will fill the country's skies for approximately six weeks. The event marks the onset of spring in the Northern Hemisphere, a period when these creatures surface from the ground for a grand mating ritual. These insects spend most of their lives beneath the soil. Some cicadas have a 13-year life cycle, while others spend up to 17 years buried. These two groups of cicadas are known as Brood 9 and Brood 13. In 2021, Brood X emerged from the underground after 17 years, leaving the country in a frenzy. This time, the event promises to be twofold, causing a mix of fascination and confusion in up to 17 American states. What makes 2024 so special is the convergence of these two different cycle broods. The dual emergence of cicadas is a phenomenon that aligns only once every 221 years. The last time an episode of this magnitude occurred, Thomas Jefferson was still the President of the United States. Currently in the United States, there are 12 broods of 17-year cicadas and three broods of 13-year cicadas. These broods are groups of cicadas that emerge from the ground in the same years. They are identified by numbers. The Northern Illinois brood or brood thweed emerges every 17 years in the American Midwest, mainly in Illinois. However, they can also be found in Wisconsin, Ohio, and Iowa. On the other hand, the 13-year group, known as brood 19, or the Great Southern brood, is the largest periodic brood of cicadas. They extend across the southeastern United States, covering a vast area that includes Missouri, Illinois, Louisiana, North Carolina, Virginia, and Maryland. The two simultaneous events are expected to occur starting from the end of April. In May, these winged creatures will announce their presence with a loud buzzing, ranging from the Midwest to the southeast of the country. For those in the exact location between these regions, the broods will emerge from the ground at the same time. Researchers from the University of Connecticut suggest that the highest probability of this occurrence will be in the city of Springfield, Illinois. Periodical cicadas have long life cycles, unlike non-periodical species which mature every summer. They spend most of their lives underground in the form of nymphs. Below the surface, they feed on tree root sap where they grow and develop for years until reaching adulthood. When they finally reach maturity, these nymphs emerge from the soil, molt, and sing searching for the ideal mate. This final stage of life lasts only a few weeks, during which they reproduce and then die. These nature singers are expected to start breaking through the ground from the end of April. At this time, the soil at a depth of 20 centimeters is warmed by the sun, reaching temperatures of up to 64 degrees Fahrenheit. This is nature's signal alerting the cicadas to the arrival of spring. In May, an army of 13 and 17-year periodical cicadas will meet in the sky simultaneously. In total, 17 American states, including Illinois, Missouri, and Alabama, will be able to witness this rare encounter. For scientists and biologists, this is a unique and special event for species study. For others, the phenomenon may cause discomfort, with noise disturbance and invasion of homes. The event promises to be massive, leading to concerns from the population. Is there any risk or preventive measure? And many Americans wear anti-cicada clothing this time of year to avoid direct contact with these insects. Others even plan trips during this period in an attempt to escape the relentless singing. Despite the noise of the swarm, experts assert that there is nothing to fear. Cicadas do not bite, sting, or cause any surface damage. They may even serve as food for humans and domestic animals, as long as in small quantities. The greatest risk lies with those allergic to seafood. 
In such cases, cicadas can cause a significant allergic reaction. One or two cicadas should not cause harm, but a feast may be difficult for dogs and cats to digest. Veterinarians explain that the challenge lies in digesting the exoskeleton of these insects. In these cases, animals may experience mild to moderate gastrointestinal disturbances. Therefore, it is advisable to keep pets indoors during this period and monitor them to prevent possible more severe reactions. The days following the emergence of the broods may be a bit turbulent. Scenes of residents sweeping up the accumulated carcasses on sidewalks will be common for a few weeks. The massive decomposition of cicadas can create an unpleasant odor in some areas. Aside from these temporary inconveniences, there is no cause for concern. Cicadas are neither poisonous nor do they transmit diseases. They play an important ecological role in the food chain and should be respected. Birds and reptiles eagerly await these events, as they are an important source of nutrients in the diet of various animals. With all these singing insects emerging in the sky at the same time, the noise is bound to be loud, very loud. Contrary to common belief, the cicada song is not emitted from the mouth or vocal cords of the insect. It's the rubbing of their wings against their own bodies that produces and amplifies the cicada symphony. There are over 3,390 species of cicadas worldwide. Each of them presents a specific song with different decibel measurements. The singing is part of their mating attraction strategy. It is through these sounds that cicada populations can distinguish the species and gender. The male uses the sound to approach families while simultaneously repelling potential predators. The famous cliques and buzzing are produced through the vibration of an organ called the tympanic membrane, located in the abdomen. Females also produce a similar, albeit quieter, sound. In 1998, during a cicada emergence, a broad number 19 recorded songs reaching up to 75 decibels. This noise is equivalent to the sound of a vacuum cleaner or a hairdryer. Biologists indicate that there are species, however, capable of emitting sounds of up to 100 decibels, akin to a jackhammer or a motorcycle engine. It's a kind of spectacle that attracts some and repels more sensitive individuals. For those who prefer silence, investing in noise-canceling headphones may be ideal. For nature lovers, there's an app called Cicada Safari, which allows you to track the show of these insects based on your location. As temperatures rise in these regions, the cicadas will begin to emerge from the ground. When they reach the surface, these insects will shed their nymph exoskeletons to unfurl their wings for the first time. The mating ritual itself is a whirlwind race against time. Cicadas take a few weeks to find a mate and lay their eggs before they die. This entire process lasts an average of about six weeks. By July 1st, they should disappear again to restart the cycle of life. Mapping these insects can help researchers understand cicadas' adaptation, especially in the face of climate change. Additionally, this year's dual emergence may result in some crossbreeding between the two broods. During this special encounter, some of them may interbreed, producing hybrids. After 2024, broods 13 and 19 will only emerge together again in 2245. What world will they find in the future? Only the cicadas and Mother Nature can tell the outcome of this story. Earth Echoes explores the fascinating cycle of these true nature singers. Their existence plays an important role in the ecosystem, promoting the ecological balance of the entire chain around them. If you enjoyed this content, type cicada in the comments. Don't forget to like and share the video. See you in the next symphony.